At nearly 100 years old, George Kent. I'm still here on the right side of the turf. Loves nothing more than being active. So I had to give up tennis and downhill skiing about three years ago. Instead of speeding down a mountain, he's taken up pickleball. And that's the only time you'll see him leave the house is to come out here. I wear a mask and I stay away from people due to social distancing and don't go to restaurants, it's kind of stay home. At George Rogers Park in Lake Oswego on Monday, it was packed with families trying to find a little normalcy this summer. At the same time, stay safe. Honestly, very tricky. Um, we've been trying to do our part by keeping our distance and wearing our masks when we come in. If we're able to keep six feet apart and feel comfortable, then we can remove the coverings. Erin Thakadam brought her family out to the river early. She makes sure her seven and five-year-old know playing outdoors is completely different this year. We've talked a lot about the importance of staying away from others, uh, keeping them healthy, as well as keeping ourselves healthy. The amount of people that have been heading out to parks along the river in Lake Oswego is staggering this year, according to Ivan Adnerholm, who's the director of Parks and Recreation for the city of Lake Oswego. We've seen an increase probably in the neighborhood of 300 to 400 times what we'd nor normally see along the Willamette River uh, this summer. He says they have park rangers making sure people are paying attention to the rules that are laid out across the state. We're approaching people um, that are not uh, physically distanced or uh, are not wearing masks under the, the new um, requirements, um, asking them to do so. It's those rules George Kent wants people to pay attention to. Wear masks and follow the rules.